Welcome back dear students. Today we are going to take another good question from physics pre-score test series paper 2 and the question says that there is an arrangement like this which you might have seen in the trains also. The driving wheels of train are connected by a rack and pinion transmission one link of which is a flat horizontal rod pivotally attached to the spokes of adjacent wheels at a distance from the axle equal to half the wheel radius. So this is the axle which is connecting the two wheels and this is the rod on which a block is left like this. The rod always remains horizontal. Obviously, it will be horizontal because the distance is fixed. This radius, this wheel radius is given as R and this is fixed at R by 2, half of the spoke radius and this is also R by 2, okay. And the friction coefficient between the block and the rod is given as mu, okay. Now, the question values of R and mu are given. So, the question is asking, it is an objective question. It says whether block will jump first or it will slide first and at what velocity will it slide and with what velocity it will jump. So let us see how to approach this question. This is the initial arrangement. Now you see in the question it is given that the train starts picking up speed very slowly. That means what is the acceleration of this whole system on the right? Acceleration is almost zero, negligible. And if acceleration is negligible, that means we can take the center of this axle as our frame of reference. Okay. So let us just sit over here and observe the motion of this block with respect to the of this center of the axis. Definitely it will be a circle only with respect to center of the rod. Okay. So let us draw the figure circle clearly. This is the circle and obviously this is the center let us say. Now this ball, we, let us just focus on this portion. We are not interested in whole rod. We are on, only interested in the block and the part of the rod on which it is lying. So definitely it will be something like this. It will be moving something like this, isn't it? In a circle. Here, here, here. It will be moving like this in a circle. Of radius, what will be the radius? We have already seen that this spoke radius is how much? R by 2. I mean half of the spoke radius is R by 2. So it will be moving in a circle of radius R by 2 only. Okay. So let us see. Now at some instant of time, let us say here, when the block is somewhere here, then what are the forces acting on the block? If you see, one force will be the centrifugal force, something like this. Let us call the centrifugal force as Fc. Fc will be what? Fc is m omega square r. That means in present case, it will be m omega square r by 2 because r by 2 is the radius of the circle, isn't it? Like this. And the other force is its weight, block's weight is what? Mg. And the other force is the normal reaction by the rod on the block, N. Now, you see, if we uh, observe the block, then which force will try to slip this or slide this block? Definitely the horizontal component of Fc. If this angle is theta, then this component of centrifugal force will be what? Fc cos theta. And if you take the vertical component of centrifugal force, it will be what? Fc sin theta. Now, you see, this force it will try to slide the block towards the right. If the block is like this, then Fc cos theta will try to pull it towards right. And which force will try to oppose it? The friction force, which is what? Mu n. So, mu n is stopping it and Fc cos theta is trying to slip it. When will it slip? For slipping, what should be the condition? Fc cos theta should be become greater than mu n, isn't it? And from the e vertical equilibrium, you see, what can you say? n plus Fc sin theta, n plus Fc sin theta is what? Mg, isn't it? So, if you put over here, then what you get? You get Fc cos theta should be greater than mu times n, what is n? mg minus fc sin theta. Okay. So, this should be the condition for slipping to occur. That means, if you write it better, it comes fc cos theta or let us try write it once, fc cos theta plus mu sin theta minus mu mg should be greater than 0, isn't it? This is the condition we got. Now, if we take whole of this, 
as a function of theta obviously it is a function of theta then let us try to find the maximum value of f we will find the f maxima and see that whether that f maxima is going to zero and if yes then at what angle this is our strategy so how to find the maximum value of this expression by differentiating it so try to differentiate and put it zero i mean you just do f dash theta equal to zero so how you will get you will get fc minus sine theta plus mu cos theta is what zero okay so if this is zero we get what mu equal to tan theta mu is equal to tan theta that means the sliding will occur when theta satisfied this value and if tan theta is this value then what will be sin theta sin theta will be mu upon under root mu square plus one and what will be cos theta cos theta will be one upon under root mu square plus one okay so you put this value of sin theta and cos theta in the value of f theta to get the maxima of f theta so what you get you get fc cos theta is what 1 upon mu square plus 1 plus mu upon mu square plus 1 mu square sorry mu square plus 1 minus mu mg this should be greater than 0 for slipping to occur we got it from this equation so solve it further and you get easily what you get that fc should be greater than mu mg upon mu square plus 1 okay this is the condition for slipping and fc is what fc we have got already here m omega square r by 2 so if you put over here fc then you get what you simply get omega square should be greater than 2 mu g upon r times mu square plus 1 this should be the omega for slipping to occur let us call this omega slip condition isn't it i mean this is omega let us call omega 1 so slipping will occur when omega becomes angular velocity becomes omega 1 okay now let us talk about the your what when when will the jumping occur you see here n plus fc sin theta is equal to mg for jumping to occur what is the condition n should be less than zero the normal reaction should vanish isn't it that should be the condition for jumping and that means normal reaction should be zero that means fc sin theta fc sin theta minus mg this should be greater than what zero and this should be greater than zero that means fc sin theta should be maximum value isn't it in order to ensure that this is zero we will have to see that it is the maxima isn't it so for jumping to occur the condition should be fc sin theta should be fc sin theta minus mg should be greater than zero isn't it now let us similarly find the maximum value of this expression again let us call it theta and let us see whether at the maximum value this whole value is going to be greater than zero or not when will this f theta will be maximum obviously when fc sin theta will be maximum and when fc sin theta will be maximum when sin theta will be maximum that means this will be maximum at theta is equal to pi by 2 that means what the tendency of the block to jump will be maximum at which position vertically upward position at this position tendency because this is theta equal to pi by 2 so at this position the tendency will be maximum to jump upward and here what will be the scenario fc is acting upward and mg is acting downward so fc should be greater than mg for jumping to occur as per this now if you just see what is happening fc should be greater than mg for jumping and fc is what we have already seen fc is our m omega square r by 2 so put it over here and you easily get that omega required for jumping 
ओमेगा जंपिंग स्क्वायर शुड बी ग्रेटर देन टू जी बाई आर टू जी बाई आर नाउ यू सी फ्रॉम हेयर कंपेयर दिस वन ओमेगा फॉर ओम लेट एस राइट इट हेयर फॉर ओमेगा स्लिपिंग द एक्सप्रेशन इज दिस वन टू म्यू जी आई मीन ग्रेटर देन टू म्यू जी अपॉन आर म्यू स्क्वायर प्लस वन एंड फॉर ओमेगा जंपिंग दिस वन सो विच वन इज लार्जर दिस वन और दिस वन क्लियरली वी कैन से दैट म्यू अपॉन अंडर रूट म्यू स्क्वायर प्लस वन इज लेस देन वन दैट मीन्स ओमेगा स्लिप इज लेस देन ओमेगा जंप ओमेगा स्लिपिंग इज लेस देन ओमेगा जंपिंग दैट मीन एंड वी सी ओमेगा इज ग्रेजुअली इंक्रीजिंग इनिशियल ट्रेन वॉज रेस्ट एंड एज ट्रेन पिक्स अप स्पीड ओमेगा इज ग्रेजुअली इंक्रीजिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू हायर वैल्यू सो वाइल इंक्रीजिंग विच वैल्यू वीर विल अकर फर्स्ट ओमेगा स्लिप विल अकर फर्स्ट बिकॉज दिस इज स्मॉलर एंड ओमेगा जंप विल अकर लेटर सो क्लियरली द बॉ द ब्लॉक विल स्लिप फर्स्ट सो वन ऑप्शन इज ब्लॉक विल स्लिप फर्स्ट दिस इज करेक्ट फर्स्ट स्लिप इट कांट जंप ओके सो फर्स्ट बिकॉज दिस वन नाउ वॉट अबाउट द स्पीड वेन इट इज स्लिपिंग इजली यू कैन फाइंड इट यू सी ओमेगा इज दिस वन सो ओमेगा स्लिप इज वॉट ओमेगा स्लिप इज अंडर रूट ऑफ दिस वन इज सिंपली टू म्यू जी अपॉन आर टाइम्स म्यू स्क्वायर प्लस वन दिस इज ओमेगा स्लिप नाउ वॉट इज वॉट इज द ट्रेन वेलासिटी एट दिस ओमेगा सिंपली वी इज इक्वल टू वॉट आर ओमेगा स्लिप बिकॉज आर इज द रेडियस ऑफ द व्हील सो पुट इट एंड यू गेट वॉट यू सिंपली गेट टू म्यू जी आर अपॉन अंडर रूट म्यू स्क्वायर प्लस वन isn't it so this if you put the value of r in this r equal to 1 and mu equal to 0.5 you get v is equal to what 3 meter per second so the other option is when the slipping will occur when velocity is 3 meter per second now so slipping is occurring somewhere here okay now if it starts slipping at this point itself then what do you think its trajectory won't remain circular anymore it will become some complex because as the uh, platform is shifting the block is also slipping towards right or left whatever it may be that means at this point you cannot access that what should be the velocity for the jumping to occur so the last option when will omega jump that is not possible to find based on the conditions given so we will have only two options correct one is block will first slip and the other is it will slip when v equal to 3 meter per second that means what are the options you can either check it out and you can mark the correct one so i hope you liked the video and if you have any questions any queries please feel free to mention in the comments and also stay tuned because i will be giving the solutions of all the tough questions whichever are coming in the test series thank you